All that. And away they go to an even beginning. Ruby Pumps is setting off for the early lead. Rex Pretentious Gal from the inside gate. Mel Tarib tucks in right behind them, as does Kittle. Miss Well Molded, pretty keen to go on, but it's going to be hooked wide, as is Pretty Pricey Gal. No speed on up front. The only key, the trailer, but no more than four lengths would cover them all. They head to the three-quarter pole, and Rex Pretentious Gal now takes over, leads it by a length. Ruby Pumps is in second. Mel Tarib scrapes the pain third. Now Miss Well Molded, more relaxed in fourth, only two and a half off the leader. Kittle is in behind that. Pretty pricey girl on the far side, and the only key just being patiently ridden at the back as six lengths would cover the lot. They head towards the half mile pole, and it's still Rex Pretentious Gal by three parts of a length. Ruby Pumps is right there, second. Miss Well Molded on the far side. Mel Reed, the grey at the rail. They've been followed by Pretty Pricey Girl. Kittle is now second last, five of them. And the only key continues to trail. Three-eighths of a mile to go, and it's Rex Pretentious Gal now kicking for home. Here comes Miss Well Molded. Mel Tarib goes well at the rail. Mel Tarib can't get through, though. Ruby Pumps is in there as well. They're at the top of the lane now. Rex Pretentious Gal, Ruby Pumps, Miss Well Molded. Mel Tarib still looks for room down at the rail. They come for home, and Rex Pretentious Gal's kicked away. Rex Pretentious Gal has opened up three. Mel Tarib still comes plugging away down at the rail, but it is Rex Pretentious Gal too good for them today. Rex Pretentious Gal two and a half. Mel Tarib was second. Ruby Pumps finished third. Now in the Woodford Reserve Winner's Circle, number one, Rex Pretentious Gal. She's a four-year-old Bay Philly by Keeler out of Enduring Charm. She's owned by Barry D'Agostino.